<laughs> Hi fans. Hi everybody. We are en route to Suffolk, aren't we? Uh, we're staying so. in a little town <laughs> in Suffolk and we're going to have a little explore of Suffolk. And we've stopped for an emergency McDonald's. So, we've got to start the vlog with you. We've uh, been up to my mum and dad's for their golden wedding anniversary, which was a great success. And now we've come away for three, three nights, aren't we? Yep. And we're having sausage and egg white muffins. We got the last two before they were chucked in the bin. Well, they might have been chucked in the bin. And they're wrapped. Not actually sure. <laughs> there we go. Coffee time. I haven't had one of these for years. In years. I'm going to state that. <laughs> You've got nothing in your mouth, though. No. I am recording with it, aren't you, again? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> I need to have breakfast without being recorded. Damn it, I'm being papped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Lily. What? <laughs> Lily. <laughs> oh, God. Ye olde hotel room. Oh. Here's our view. Onto the market square, which is very cute. Nice bathroom. There's a gift shop from the from the detectorist. Mm, What's that glass? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Look at that spooky wardrobe. Look at the ceiling. It's like I don't know if you can tell, but it's sloping. It is sloping like a hammock. Creaky, creaky. Look at this old wardrobe. That's seriously spooky, isn't it? Will you just check that there's no sort of like dead nuns in there or anything, or what else comes out of those freaky wardrobes? <laughs> yeah, no, no dead nuns. Pretty old wardrobe, isn't it? Yeah. I'd say that's probably 16th century. Late Jacobean, early Tudor. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's clear of ghosts. Good. So that's our room. Ta -ta! Now we have to go and get all our bags. Oh. Come hither to the gas of the grounds, my Korean. Work it, baby, work it. Queen's Castle. 
<laughs> That's really good. Ah, we're knackered. We've been walking around pretty much all afternoon. This place called Framlingham in Suffolk, which is gorgeous. We're going to go downstairs and have something to eat at the hotel because uh, there's, ugh, lots of things are booked up and some things aren't even open on a Monday here for some reason. So it's all a bit COVID, if you know what I mean. So um, yeah, we're going to go downstairs and try and grab some grubsicles. <laughs> Words of wisdom do you have for us this morning? Tell us about the day. Don't eat dog poo. <laughs> uh, it's wet. If you go out when it's wet, wear a coat. <laughs> or a large brimmed hat, at least. Uh, that's it, that's fine. <laughs> oh, where's this coffee? It is hammering it down today. Can you see the rain? It's raining. Well, we've had breakfast. It was very nice, very nice. Not the best. Not, I wouldn't say the best breakfast in the world. What is the best coffee breakfast? Coffee was awful. It was awful. Co no, coffee was nice. Coffee was awful. <laughs> anyway, um, we've come upstairs. We're kind of deciding what to do today because it's absolutely hammering it down. What a difference a day makes. But I think we're going to go to Orford. We were going to go to Oldborough by the seaside and have fish and chips, but I think it'd be thoroughly miserable. So we might leave that for Wednesday because it's supposed to be not raining on Wednesday. But we could do Orford today and Snape and whatever else takes our fancy. Waiting for a coffee in the mall, in the rain. We're not. raining so that's good got a little coffee James is getting his uh, supposed what's it called rainproof converse on <laughs> they do such a thing we're gonna go to Orford check it out nice seafood restaurant there apparently and then we're going to go to a place called Snape Maltings which is like a gallery and art and stuff and like nice shoppy shoppies and then we'll see We'll see what happens for the rest of the day, depending on the weather. That's right. I'm going to go back to speak to that lady in that coffee shop and say, where do you get your tattoo from? Well, my girlfriend had the same tattoo on the same place, thank you. <laughs> what was that one? It was like a, um, oh, you fucking, fucking. <laughs> <laughs> It was a na it was like a a stylized <laughs> looked like a naked like line drawing of a woman. Yeah it was, yeah. Well I'm not having that. Alright. I'm not having any tattoos. Alright. <laughs> smolder. Sorry about the cut people. I can't smolder. I uh, walked into a piece of wood. <laughs> we have arrived in Orford. We're going to explore. It's very pretty. Smoked ham hocks.
paintings, lots of crafts and art and food and antique centres and very nice things. So we're going to go and explore, but I think we're going to try and get something to eat first because we feel a bit weak, <laughs> a bit weak, a bit hungry. And the wind has died down and the sun is coming out. Just wanna drink a beer and grab a glass and let it go down. We're going down. Now I can't hold you any longer. I can't cold cause you're a storm. A storm, a storm. I wake up feeling even smaller, even when the storm is over. <laughs> we are fully clothed, don't worry. Morning! Today we're in... Portsmouth. Uh, it's very pretty yesterday. Oh. <laughs> it's on the wall. We're on a wall! Oh my god, that was a bit gusty. It's still windy today. But it's... it's we love it here. Well I do anyway. Smoked eel that we're going to try. Ah, I thought it came in a little thingy. Go on, have a bite. Is that cod? Not <laughs> chicken. Sit on the pebbles? Yeah, let's all sit. Let's sit on the pebbles. It's fish and chip time. From the famous fish and chip shop where you have to queue. Oops. Yeah. 
Weather looks really ominous. So, just thought I'd let you know we're in back in a place called Orford, which is where we were yesterday when we were like in the middle of a gale. We are going to have a meal here in something called Pinnies. No, it's not called Pinnies, it's called oh, the, the Oysteridge oyster or something. Oyster edge, yeah. The Oysteridge. And they only do seafood, so we're going to have a seafood gut bash. And we had fish and chips for lunch, which was very, very <laughs> nice. And. Yeah, we're going to have a little seafood garbage. We may have a mixed seafood platter. Maybe. I'm. I'm. Or I'm, maybe some squid. I'm hoping octopus. Or octopus. Squid, Freshly caught octopus. octopus. I think they do grilled. Bought these pretty earrings in a little antique shop in a place called Thorpe Ness with the house in the sky. It's very nice. And you bought a clock made from an uh, an RSJ. Ta -ta! It's cool, isn't it? A bit retro. I bought a couple of prints. What have I done with them? This is where we've been today. Thorpe Ness, House and Sky, Windmill, Boating Pool. And we've been to Aldborough where we had fish and chips. Mm. I don't. Only some of the time. When pickled you're, when onion you're, gate. We're, we're trying pickled to eat. onion gate. And you threw a pickled onion on my lap. This used to be the Orford Smokery and they used to do really nice things like smoked ham hock and smoked eels and smoked bacon and stuff. But the chap died. He kind of smoked himself to death and then his family didn't want to take it over. So uh, it will probably be made into a swanky house now, I should think. You can see where all the smoking happened. James is in the toilet. I can do And we had a lovely, lovely meal in the um, Oyster Ridge. What's it called? The Oyster Ridge? I think it's called the Oyster Ridge. A really, really lovely meal. And we had a very quick gin and tonic before then. They took so long to bring it out. We had five minutes to drink it before our table was ready. So we like we had a grilled squid. We had cheese prawns with um, potato on top. We had smoked cod's row and toast. And we had white bait. And it was delicious, absolutely delicious. So if you're in Suffolk in Orford, go there because it's awesome. Good morning, everybody. The day is Thursday, the something of August 27th, I think. Uh, I, I think we're checking out today. So we're packing all our stuff up and heading heading home. But we're first of all going to go back to Orford to pick up some ham hocks. And we've got, he wants to go back to this antique place that we found because he um, quite liked it stuff in there and then we're going to go to a place called Lavenham for a little look round and then head home so that is the plan but I really wanted to show you this chest of drawers which is like ghostly check this out watch this pull the drawers out Ta -ta! We 
we've just arrived in a place called Lavenham. We went to the antiques place and James smashed a couple of hundred pounds on some, um, you know, collectibles. Uh, have a little, have a little some spot to eat, and have a look round. sorry but we we didn't finish the vlog off we left Lavenham that afternoon and drove back in the most awful conditions weather conditions it was absolutely torrential rain all the way home uh, excuse the pile of washing <laughs> torrential rain all the way home horrible spray on the roads it, it was just an awful journey so we ended up not vlogging anything on the way back, but I just wanted to obviously um, add this on on the end just to say I hope you enjoyed coming along with us and seeing a little bit of Suffolk. It's a beautiful county. So if you ever fancy going, then do. I can't recommend it enough. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're all well and um, I will be speaking to you very soon and having a little chin wag. Take care of yourselves and speak soon. <laughs>